very much. The gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Tierney, is recognized. Uh, thank you very much. Thank all the witnesses for their work and for being uh, here again today. So essentially what we've established is that we have a memorandum that uh, allows the majority apparently to raise a specter of problems only to find out that it was never sent to anyone because those issues have been addressed and dealt with and now we have a system that has not had any successful uh, attack, uh, hack, uh, attack uh, since then. But we continue to go over and over and over this because if we do go over and over, maybe somebody will think that there's a real problem. But let's talk about the real problem. So we've spent a lot of time doing that on this committee, uh, oversight committee, had hearings and subpoenaed documents and conducted interviews. Mr. Bateman, uh, ad nauseum, with, with respect to you at, at least, the good news is that there have been no successful uh, attacks and security against the website, but every day people do attempt from time to time. So I have a modest suggestion here. Why don't we try to find out who's doing that? Uh, this is an oversight and investigatory committee. After all, it seems to me that uh, if we have a website and people want to have health care, but there are people trying to prevent them from doing that, and by that I, I don't reference my colleagues here, I reference people that are uh, trying to, although many people are tiresome of the efforts to repeal, I'm talking about people that are trying to uh, get into the system and, and destroy it. Uh, we ought to go after those bad guys on that basis. Uh, there are reports out there, a pretty wide range set of reports, describing some of the malicious groups that are organizing to try to do this. One example is a group that developed a program called Destroy Obamacare. Are you familiar with that, Mr. Bateman? Yes, I've seen reports of it. And apparently what they were doing was trying to have a, a denial of service tool. Uh, can one of you explain what that is? Mr. Shrest? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So in, in the case of uh, Destroy Obamacare and in, in all denial of service tools, the basic premise is to flood the website um, with potentially even, uh, even uh, appropriate traffic, but such that legitimate users cannot access the site. It's, it's overloaded, in essence. So the specter that's been raised is, uh, is trying to be made true by people that are taking an overt action to try and interfere with the system. Would that be right? Yes, sir. So the reports, press reports indicate that these are, in their words, right-wing groups motivated not by financial gain but uh, sort of a political animus. Uh, they disagree with the Affordable Care Act, uh, so they're trying to intentionally block applicants from actually getting access and, and getting the, the right that's entitled to them under the law. Uh, is it a crime, Dr. Shress, for them to do this? Uh, I'm not an attorney, sir, but I believe it is. And uh, who investigates those types of attacks? Uh, in the event, and we did investigate uh, the, Ob the Destroy Obamacare code and those, not the actors, that's not our role, but the attempted attack, uh, we found it to be rudimentary. But we did report, as we report all these incidents to the Officer Inspector General, and they received that information and it would, would in indeed investigate if appropriate. Okay. And would they investigate to try to determine who the individuals uh, leading this attack are? Uh, that's my understanding, sir, but they would have to tell you their procedures. Okay. Um and perhaps that's a, a good action for this committee would be to meet with those people and find out where they're going and what they're finding out. Um, does your incident response team uh, go at all, you know, in terms of checking out these allegations to look to see who's undermining it? Do you look to see how you can trace back on the site where it may originate or where the site is hosted? Yes, sir. We'll trace back what we call the command and control, all the elements of the attack as best as we can, and then we'll share that with uh, DHS, uh, law enforcement, and others as appropriate. Uh, and do you think that if uh, it, the uh, right people were investigating this, they would be able to, in fact, locate and find who these people are? Is there a likelihood of that? It's possible, sir, but these things are fairly mercurial. IP addresses are rapidly changing. The websites come up and down pretty, pretty often. So uh, the reality is, though, that very often they are found. Uh, and it's because of that uh, mercurial aspect and other things and constant attacks that you have the need for layered security. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And that layer security, once again, uh, has been successful uh, to date in stopping any successful hacking attack. Yes, correct? sir. To date it has. All right. Uh, but because all systems, whether they're private or, or public like this, are constantly under attack, we have to be vigilant, and that's exactly what all of you are doing. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Around the clock. Well, I thank you for your efforts. And, Mr. Chairman, I think that uh, I would ask that the uh, committee consider uh, an investigation pursuing those who are uh, making attempts uh, to attack and hack this site uh, for whether it's political animus or any other means on that. I think that would be an appropriate activity for us to do. That seems to be the real danger here, uh, interfering with people's rights to have uh, health care under the plan. Uh, the gentleman uh, absolutely is right. Uh, cybersecurity is part of our core jurisdiction. 
Uh, Mr. Connolly and I also spoke this morning at a cloud computing conference. So that is an area of, of not only interest, but a willingness to put uh, staff and uh, dais time into. Uh, if I may, uh, Mr. Cummings and I have been discussing, and I'll be brief, uh, the fact that we need to link in as part of our committee jurisdiction other areas of best practice flaws within the federal government, but also a recognition that those things have to be rippled out to private corporations, the banking community. Certainly Target's been mentioned here, but it wasn't the only uh, commercial site hacked during this period of time. So I join with the gentleman, and, and you can count on there being a series of briefings and possible committee hearings on them. I thank the chairman. Yield back.